Ah, professional wrestling. Woo! Entertaining, yes, but have you ever thought of it as an art form? This show is the very first ever inaugural Wrestling with the Arts show, and it's a month-long celebration of wrestling. The art on the walls is colorful and emblematic of the sport, which showcases athleticism as well as showmanship. Wrestling crosses all demographics and can reach people that other sports can't, that have priced themselves out of the fan market. Robbins Daly is the birthplace of Minnesota wrestling, but then again, Minnesota is basically the center of wrestling. There would be no WWE, no Vince McMahon, if it wasn't for Vern Gagne, Larry Henning, Nick Bockwinkle, the crusher. I am the man. Interestingly, all the works you'll see are done by wrestlers. Not all the pieces are about wrestling, but it goes to illustrate the talent that some of these men have outside the ring. Professionals are oftentimes professionals in more mediums than just one. These artists who are drawers, writers, Jim Brunzel is, is a wrestler and a writer. Joe Klander and Greg Stone, uh, one from Duluth and the other Greg Stone from Iowa. They're both professional wrestlers and artists. Wrestling goes to the State Fair as a comical clash, what if scenario of pieces by Joe Klander. They're even gonna have a wrestling ring set up outside and live demonstrations at one o'clock on Saturday. And now in the spirit of professional wrestling, <laughs> for a weekend showcase from Maple Grove Arts Center, Neil Persley, CCX News.